Hi, my name is Marian and today I'm going to interview a very special member of my family and we will talk about how important the words of God in his life. Oh hi Pops, I'm going to ask you these following questions. First question, how have you experienced God inviting you to live in communion with Him? Surely my last gospel was in there with the God. Second question, to what extent have you faithfully responded to this invitation? This is uh, our obligation since uh, we are kids. Our great great grandparents uh, teach us on how to go to church and listen to the word of God and feel God is be with you always. Third question, how have you struggled to know God or to accept God's revelation? Actually, uh, we, we have to struggle hard to know God and His words. That's why we need to uh, join or come uh, religious activities or religious uh, uh, programs. Like uh, to us that we are a member of the Couple of Christ. So almost we, need, uh, we know the word of God and about His teaching. That's why uh, it's not too easy, but the most things you have always to attend and uh, listen uh, for the word of God. So. Fourth question, in what ways have you come to know God through human reason? Usually this happens when uh, you are in difficulties, when you are in trouble. Uh, that's why uh, you are forsaking God. God to be with you. I like to ask God for the help. Because only God, the one who can help whatever in which problem we have. Fifth question In what ways or through what experiences have you come to know God through the natural world? Actually, uh, in everyday life, in busy life, I feel that God is with me. Because every time I have a problem, I think so much. There is nothing I can ask for, it's only God. Like for example, when I was being operated in my heart problem, I don't have anything to say that God is with me because uh, I was being able to survive that operation. And thanks God that uh, there is no impossible things that He can do to each and every one of us. In what way, when you knock the door, He always open to you. Sixth question, for example, what scripture stories have been most meaningful to you? This is one of the, the scriptures that got me from Romans 8 18. The suffering and the presence are as nothing compared with the glory to deliver us. As we go further now, we are suffering through this uh, pandemia, this COVID. But still, we are hoping that God uh, will give us the strength to fight about this disease. Because in the end, the glory will be with us, together with God. Because nothing could stop this, only God. Seventh question, in what ways have you come to know God through sacred tradition? We know God. Yes, only we do it in a traditional way, mostly when we are reading the Christmas, uh, the fiestas, and also uh, going to some church activities and uh, joining some of the uh, Christian activities like Purpose for Christ, joining the Liwan and the Cristo, joining the El Shaddai. So, so that is one thing that uh, it was done traditionally by our Christian faith. I learned a lot of things and I was inspired by Papa Aldi's answers and my questions. His words taught me a lot of things. As an example is that you have to keep your faith to the Lord our God and our Savior. We should also learn how to accept and worship Him. 
can learn how to praise the Lord because when times get rough, He will always be there and He will always know how to forgive us. And I also learned that you should always keep your faith in Him and never forget to thank Him and always remember to pray and worship for Him. As Wahi said that as a kid, our great-great-grandparents taught us how to go to church and listen to the words of God and feel that God is with you. Because in the end, the glory will be with us, together, and nothing can stop this, only God.